Hello, Ladeo. Hello, guys. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Lade. If this is your first time on my channel, you're very much welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, you already know that I love you. If you don't, I love you. On today's video, as you can already tell, we're going to be cooking this amazing, irresistible beef teriyaki fried rice. This rice, huh? They said action is better than words, yeah? So yeah, let's just get into the action so that you can make your own. No, 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 no. Here are the ingredients I used to make this irresistible dish. I used rice, three cups of rice that's been cooked in beef broth. It's cooled down already. Then some beef in bite-sized pieces um, some spring onions you're going to need that you're going to need some salt some pepper that's um, Cameroon pepper and then some bouillon powder that's chicken bouillon one egg and then ginger garlic paste if you haven't seen how I make this ginger garlic paste you need to check the video out the card should come out on the top I'm also going to be needing some peppers, green peppers, bell peppers and the red ones. I'm going to be needing about a cup of mixed vegetable. I love them. And that's part of what makes the dish irresistible. And then some onions. I'm going to be using some teriyaki sauce, some vegetable oil and some cornstarch. Okay, the teriyaki sauce, you can use any dark sauce, but I miss teriyaki and the flavor this is um the walmart brand so it's not even any major brand you know it's just basic so i'm going to start by seasoning the meat i'm going to put the bouillon powder i'm going in with my hand this time it's the cameroon pepper i'm nigerian if you didn't know and we like spices but this is very different from our regular nigerian fried rice i didn't add any curry i didn't add any thyme those are some of our staple ingredients so once I do that, then I'm going to be adding the teriyaki sauce to the meat and I'm going to add in more pepper. Um, it wasn't still that spicy. So a lot of people say that I like spicy. I love spicy, but this wasn't even that spicy. And then I added just a little bit from the paste, the ginger, garlic, turmeric paste. And now I'm going to be adding the cornstarch to kind of seal it all in together. Um, and then I'm going to let it sit for a little bit. I didn't have time because the people in my house were already hungry. So I had to um, get to work and I just do cornstarch a little at a time so in a wok or a pan you add some vegetable oil and you heat it up then you're going to fry the beef until it's you know nice and fried and cooked um, this is what I have and this oil I'm going to be using to cook the entire meal so don't worry about it um, it looks like it's a bit much but you will see at the end so once this is ready i take it out and then i now go in with the vegetables onions first and i want as much as possible all those goodness on the bottom of the pan i want to get them i'm going to be adding some of the spring onions not all of it um the bell peppers and i'm going to stir that all in we don't want these vegetables to overcook the next thing i'm going to be going in with is the mixed vegetables you don't want them to overcook the mixed vegetables were in the freezer sorry not mixed vegetables okay the paste i like to add the paste at this point because it has less chance of burning i used to add it you know before the onions but then it will burn so the next thing now is the mixed vegetable and once you've added that in and allow it to stir fry for a little bit you're going to add in the egg you can use more than one egg you don't have to use egg at all but i just really wanted to remember america <laughs> and chinese food really that's why i was making this and then i just um mix it all up together with the egg and guys it's as simple as that i'm adding a little more teriyaki sauce to it i'm still going to mix it up a little bit and then i'm going to be reintroducing the meat that we took out i'm going to put it back in here if you don't want the rice to be too brown you can take out the sauce from the meat and just you know pick the meat out and put it back in the vegetables but i wanted the sauce so that was on purpose now i'm going to put in the rice remember this rice is not hot though. the rice must have cooled down already and i'm going to be adding it little by little because i don't want to put too much and then my sauce is not enough you know so i rather 
do it little by little and this is it guys this rice is legit irresistible you know i had way more than two three four spoons i'm not proud to say it because i'm on a diet um but people in my house they loved it and i think what makes it irresistible to me is the mixed vegetables and the teriyaki seasoning the peas and all of those things just bursting in your mouth god guys this is irresistible i think when they were creating that word irresistible i'm sure they were eating this rice or they were making it well that's the end of the recipe is really that easy guys and i was thinking of what to garnish this with but what do you need garnishing for when there's all these vegetables looking at your beautiful faces if you followed me this far on this video and you have not subscribed to my channel please do if you recreate this tag me on instagram if you're not following me on instagram i don't even know what you're doing what are you doing <laughs> thank you so much guys for watching until next time be the best version of you bye